Uh, All right, ready? Three, two, one. Who are you and what city are you repping? My name is Michaela McLean and I'm representing Schenectady, New York. Schenectady, New York. Yes. But I do know that you're based in, uh, you're, best, you're based on the west side right now. I am, yeah. Well, actually for the summer I am in New York, but I am also uh, living in California and Long Beach. Um, so yeah, I'm there for school and for music and I'm finishing up my album and getting that all out. But right now I'm here for the summer to be with family and write more music, hopefully want to uh, pursue your dream shout out to you for that yeah so uh, this isn't our first interview we met we met in la <laughs> yeah, last in time hollywood, for dj hollywood <laughs> it was, it was meant to be. exactly exactly so uh what, what are you looking forward to uh most for you know this upcoming show um i'm i'm really looking forward to the show one because um i haven't done a live show like this in, in a long time or actually I don't know if ever. Um, I also love the message, what the show is standing for, you know, more music, less violence, especially right now with everything that's going on in the world, um, just with violence and, you know, without going too deep, like I think, you know, pushing this message is really, really crucial right now. So I'm, I'm definitely happy to be a part of that and to experience other artists who are doing the same and support the same message. So I think it'll be really fun energy and, and something great to be a part of for sure. Right, so uh, yeah, thank you for uh, being a part of this. You know, this is the, uh, I literally hit you up like, hey, um, I think you, I don't, I don't know how this came about, but you were like, I'm actually going to be in town for the show. And I was yeah. like, perfect. So, yeah, definitely thank you for uh, being a part of the show as well. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. I mean, like I said before, I, I've been wanting to come to one of your events. You know, I always see it on online and it looks so much like so much fun. So happy to actually be here this time and experience it and be a part of it. Exactly, exactly. So now my second question. So. Uh, what is your biggest motivation when it comes to music? Ooh, that's hard. Biggest motivation, um, I think there's there's two. There's like an internal motivation and there's an outside motivation. The internal motivation is, I, it's the motivation to do anything else. <laughs> like it's kind of what keeps me going. Yeah. Um, that sounds really cliche and cheesy, but it's true. Um, I wouldn't be able to live without writing and expressing myself and, and doing that. Um, my external motivation is always my family. Um, you know, hoping one day I can turn this into a career um, and help support them in any way I can and my friends and, you know, live a life that is worth living. <laughs> I respect that. I respect yeah. it. So what do you feel like is the hardest part for you about being a musician? Um, for me, and you know, this is different for everybody, but for me, I think the hardest part is just balancing it all. Um, in order for me to do the things I want to do musically, I also have to work full time and, you know, I... I support myself and you know <laughs> try really hard to do that so you know choosing between oh if I want to get ahead of my bills or get studio time you know trying to be responsible in that way but also follow my dreams and, and do what I know needs to be done in order to, to reach those goals um, so just finding the balance I think is, is the harder part and also just having time to write or time to to schedule those things or even time to upload the out there's so many behind the scenes things going on right, so, right. Um, just just really balancing all of it the financial the they're having time to write versus doing the production side of it, um, making videos to, pr to promote it, but also being true to the art and not trying to overdo it. You know, it's, yeah. the balance I think is the hardest thing for sure. So, so you know, with, still learning. With, with that being said, do you have like a, do you have a team of people that you work with, or do you kind of you know work with people as you go? I I don't have a team in a traditional sense of like these are my go-to people. I have a team of, in terms of community, I have people like you that, you know, we connect on in music in a certain way, and then I have other people that I connect with, like producers, um, you know, my producer and engineer back in, um, he actually is in Torrance, California, um, I produced like my whole album with him basically, but then I also have like friends where I met buying a guitar at a guitar shop, and we have a song that's on my album coming out, and uh, so I like finding little connections like that, um, and, and I kind of take mental notes of, you know, who I enjoy working with, right, right, maybe right. I can kind of learn from that experience and right. uh, just building my team that way and you know the same way being there for people that other artists who are doing things and maybe need you know a singer songwriter or to work ideas with so yeah. um, definitely love the idea of in the, the, the way that Schenectady especially or Albany this whole area connects over music it's, it's been a really cool experience learning that because I didn't know that you know in, uh -huh. in high school so throughout the process of finding it for myself I there's so much more that I didn't even know was there. So, right, right, right. Yeah. So, uh, the fans want to know, what percent <laughs> is the album on? Is the album finished yet? The album is 100% finished, yes. It is, it is finished. I'm kind of, I'm admittedly in a, in a weird place where I'm like kind of nervous to put it out. It's like, 
I've been, you know, pressuring my engineer like to, to kind of get it done. Be like, okay, we gotta get this, this, and then now I'm done. I'm kind of in this mode of just sitting with it, and I'm allowing myself that time. You know, this summer again for me is really like take a pause, do it the right way. There were times where I felt the pressure to like, okay, you gotta get this out now, otherwise it's gonna be irrelevant. Um, you know, as a singer-songwriter, you know, I was talking before, like, you, when you write something, you spend so much time with it, but by the time you put it out, it's kind of old, old news, but then it also has ways of finding its way into your future, so, right. the relevant times, so, yeah, I, I, um, it's definitely fully done, I'm living with it, and it's gonna be out, hopefully, by the end of summer. Alright, say no more, my last question, when you hear the term, more music, less violence, what comes to mind? Um, more music, less violence, to me, it just, it, I think of community, and I think of, finding other outlets and other ways of, of communicating that maybe people um, can, can use, like, um, I don't know, music just has a way of bringing people together, it has a way of making people understand each other in, in a different way, um, so yeah, I think it's just, it's, it's a different outlet and kind of using it to bring community together and to show love and show that love is there, so I agree. You know, more music, less violence, I'm, I'm all for it. Exactly, exactly. All right. So, uh, yeah, at the end of the month, we will be, well, you will be blessing the <laughs> Cafe Lino. This is a very historic stage. Me so too. are you ready? I am. I'm very excited. Ready is and I need to practice a few more times, <laughs> but ready for sure to just be there and have a good time with other artists and, and creatives. Say no more. We will see you at the show. Yeah, I'll see you there. All right.